What's up people, Scott Stars here from Digital Trap and today I'm going to attempt to cook up an up-tempo future beat I've got his uh, Wizard album in heavy rotation right now so I'm definitely in a future vibe so yeah let's try and cook I'm going to open up Omnisphere to try and find a sound um, not too sure what sort of sound I'm going to go for, I just know I want it to be up-tempo so I'm going to set the tempo to uh, 154 It's a nice tempo for For that future bounce That um That fun the club up bounce So I found this out in Omnisphere that's kind of like Drops of glass And I'm basically What my plan is Is to make a melody that I'm going to half time So It might sound a bit mad at first sense once the effects are on it. to that So what I'm doing right now is uh, the band is basically like picture this as an EQ and this is how this is like the wet um, it's like doing it by frequency so it will only it will only affect certain um, frequencies in the in the sound which is kind of hard so I like half time over gross beat I must admit. <laughs> So sometimes I like to use gross beat and just use the volume controls down here, especially when it's a sound like this and it's quite muddy to, to just give it some sort of like rhythm. You'll, you'll hear what I'm saying. Gives it some swing there with the side chain um, preset on cross beat. Gives it some real nice swing. So yeah, next sound. Let's see where we can take this.
So it sounds, I like the sound, but it's a bit too scratchy. So I'm just going to try and EQ it a bit. Reverb on there, put the decay up quite a bit. I might even put some tremolo on it. Uh, tremolo tar from Sound Toys, hard little plugin. feel like we need something acting as the main melody um, let me do a let chat again we need like a uh, a pluck something something stand out right now it seems like there's a lot of background sounds in there tricks on this um, probably put the background vocal preset on there very common in future beats line um, that's what I like to do you know what I'm saying for my like, build it all up build it all up add all my instruments and then break it down for the verses and then add my drums so let me type in move bass drums for some real nice move basses <laughs> Oh, you 
top high hats like that. Sometimes makes things it's just f slotting the mix a bit better. See how that stereo enhancer is just putting that melody to the side so that the 808 breathe a bit more. some distortion on this. I like to use a camel crusher, turn the wetness down. <laughs> I'm out. out of this kick, it's not clashing as much. I'll try and put some snare rolls on the other. No, I bet you it's there.
get in there. <laughs> tip for uh, if you if you want to cut your radio off quick 808 off quickly is just make a pattern make sure it's on cut itself make a pattern turn it all the way down and just put that at the beginning of wherever you want the bass to cut off <laughs> turntable effect from Grosby onto this lead melody just to give it some rhythm. Uh, go for this one. Pretty much it. I mean, of, of course, I'd add a few little bits and bit. Uh, of course, I'd add a few more bits and pieces, but um, yeah, for the most part, that would pretty much be it done. I'd just structure it out, add some little change ups here and there. I mean, future beats are quite simple anyway. It's just more so the drums and the bounce and getting that right because his voice is so powerful and you know. It doesn't really need to be a lot going on instrumentation wise it just needs to have the right bounce and yeah i feel like we've achieved that here so yeah man once again scott stars from digital trap appreciate you tuning in uh, rate comment subscribe and let me know in the comments what tutorials bits of content anything you want next just let me know